Hello YouTube, this is Marco. I'm your Watch Cardinal bringing you another video here today comparing two of probably the most desired watches that Rolex makes today, one being the Rolex Submariner, the other being the Rolex GMT Master II. This is what's been nicknamed as the Batgirl, but as you know, I like to call it the Bruce Wayne because of course it is the dressed up version of the Batman. So Bruce Wayne, I believe, is a much more fitting nickname. But really the purpose of this video is not just to compare these watches, but more so uh, to compare one thing that is distinct about each watch, which is the bracelet, the Oyster bracelet versus the Jubilee bracelet. So of course, let's get into first and foremost, kind of the specs and the basic uh, thoughts of the watches themselves. Obviously, the Rolex Submariner I've had for a little bit longer. I think it is the perfect watch, uh, apart from, of course, the Rolex GMT Master II, which I think is just a slightly better one and done if you had to get only one. Uh, of course, on the Oyster Bracelet, I think it's absolutely phenomenal. You get that Glide Lock clasp, the Glide Lock clasp, which I think is just absolutely fantastic. I think uh, it should be on really every single Rolex uh, bracelet and every single Rolex clasp. I don't think there is uh, anything wrong with that. I think it is, without a doubt, the best clasp system. Of course, you get that beautiful rotating bezel that I just think is just so luxurious and so refined. And it's just a pleasure to operate, really. So, yeah, I must admit, I do really like that about the Submariner. Uh, one thing that I will give the edge on, of course, of the Bruce Wayne is first and foremost, it does have a date function, which I think is just more practical for everyday use. So if you had to go one and done, I think having a date complication is just a great feature. I like a no date Submariner because it is closer to the original sub. Um, and ultimately, to me, it's just historically more accurate. And in a wider collection, I do prefer no date watches because ultimately setting Watches with a date can become quite annoying. So uh, within the context of my own collection, I really do like the fact that I have a no-date sub and kind of a date GMT. So um, what do I think of both these watches? I mean, they're absolutely phenomenal watches. They're some of the most desired on the market today uh, for a reason. I mean, they're just perfect in every respect. The engineering, the machining, uh, the movements themselves, they're super accurate. Uh, and of course, the timelessness of their design, you know what I mean? These are iconic because of their design. The design language of these watches is just absolutely phenomenal. It can't be said enough. And, uh, you know, I really do love both watches in their own merit. Uh, which do I honestly prefer? I have to go with the GMT Master II, the Bruce Wayne, because ultimately of one thing and one characteristic, and that is this unbelievable Jubilee bracelet. Guys, I am not kidding. I really did think the Oyster bracelet was without a doubt the bra best bracelet money can buy. However, I will say there is one downfall to it, and that is that it doesn't vent the wrist super well. So you can actually get quite warm and sweaty a little bit with it on if you do like a tighter fit on your bracelet, or not necessarily tight, but you know, fitted fit, which is how I ultimately like to wear my watches. I like to wear them not necessarily tight, but fitted to my wrist. And uh, with the actual GMT Master II Batman, uh, I actually have a perfect fit on it with the Jubilee bracelet. But because of the kind of space in between the links, it just vents the wrist so much better than the Oyster bracelet over here. Uh, ultimately, I must admit that I do prefer the Jubilee. Uh, but in terms of everything else, I mean, the case size, the lug to lug are identical. So uh, there's no worry about that. You know, this has a 72 hour power reserve, which I think is better ultimately because it does have that date complication that I was talking about. So ultimately it is a much better, you know, I kind of don't have to put or change the date every kind of so often because of that longer power reserve. The one thing that I will say that is a pain, uh, if you have a very large rotation of watches, the only way to cycle through the date is through one hour increments, which can get pretty annoying for most people. Uh, I remember when I received my watch, I believe it was like May the 1st and the date was on like the 7th. So I had to cycle through from like the 7th to the 1st, which did take quite a while before I ultimately got the correct date on it. But, you know, other than that, I really don't mind it. I, I think it is just a very good to watch. Uh, and I think ultimately just a beautiful watch overall. So in terms of which one do I prefer? Just on aesthetics alone, I must say that I appreciate 
the Submariner's kind of under the radar look. I think that it is a perfect and beautiful one and done if that's the way you choose to go. But I have to admit, the better watch is the Rolex GMT Master 2, the Bruce Wayne. Guys, it has been my Rolex kind of grail for years. I mean, the GMT, as you well know, I wanted a Berthier Pepsi originally. I ended up getting this one because I knew at the price that I got it for, which was retail, thanks to my man, MJT, the man, the myth, the legend himself, I wouldn't get another one or I wouldn't get an opportunity probably to get another one at this price. And I can always get the 16710 birth here later on in the future. But, you know, I'm so glad I got this watch. This is to me my favorite watch within the current lineup of Rolex. I think it really is just a steel stunner, a steel stunner. It is beautiful. And that Jubilee bracelet, guys, is a total, total showstopper. It is just perfect. And, uh, yeah, I must admit, guys, I am so blessed, so fortunate to have this watch in my collection, to have both of these watches, really. I mean, at my age, to have the collection that I have, it is astounding. Trust me, I pinch myself at least once a day to remind myself just the life that I'm living, the craziness uh, that has besieged me kind of over the last couple of months. And, uh, you know, I have nobody to thank other than you guys, the viewers, because you all made this possible. And, uh, yeah, I'm in this crazy hobby now with... The whole lot of you making videos. Uh, I've been, as you know, watch enthusiast now for about five years, going on six. And I've been collecting serious watches now for, I want to say, about two years. So, ultimately, uh, I have to be honest with you. These watches are really the peak of my collection, at least for now. You know, I do plan on owning, you know, high horology, maybe independent pieces. Because those really are my passion. You know, at the end of the day... These are great watches, but guys, lest we forget what they truly are. They're industrially made, mass-produced watches. And while they are special because ultimately they're extremely rare and difficult to get, they're not horologically significant in a way that an FP Journe is or a Patek is or a Vacheron Constantin or, uh, you know, any of the, or Kerry Voodalainen or any of these other independents or high horology kind of watch brands. And to me, that is really what got me into watches. It's uh, uh, the idea of somebody like a George Daniel sitting at his desk 10, 12 hours, slaving away, polishing away, beveling away the bridges and uh, doing perlage work and creating really a mechanical work of art, an artwork for people to enjoy. And while these are pieces of art and pieces of mechanical art, they're industrially made and they can't really compare to the likes of a Breguet or a Patek. And as beautiful and as special as they are and I will always love these pieces let's put it into context they're probably not worth what the market kind of dictates they're worth but that's just one man's opinion but I do believe uh, ultimately the Rolex Submariner is a perfect one and done watch but even better is a Rolex GMT Master 2 mostly because of this Jubilee bracelet I absolutely am in love with this Jubilee bracelet I like the GMT complication. I have it set to uh, Brisbane local time because of my man, Archie Luxury, the man, the myth, the legend himself. So I always know what time it is in Brisbane uh, just because, you know, just for <laughs> the laughs and what have you. It's just a cool thing. Um, and of course, I always have my sub by my side because I love it. Ultimately, with the collection that I have, uh, these watches mostly sit in the bank safe nowadays, but... You know, it's very humbling and cool to always look at these watches and compare them. I think that you can't go wrong with either. You know, I'm not going to go into the text and specs because you guys can find somebody probably more credible. What's the feeling that I get when I wear these watches? And I just feel so special. There's just something that you can't explain when you strap on a Rolex watch that it, it's just like no other brand does it for you. It's like a lifetime achievement award, which is crazy to say because it's just a watch. You know, it's just a, a steel case, a steel bracelet with a little bit of uh, love thrown in there. But at the end of the day, these are truly special pieces. And I think you can't go wrong getting either. But if I had to pick one, I would have to give the edge to the Rolex GMT Master II Batman. Or as I like to call it, the Bruce Wayne. The Bruce Wayne, I think, is just an absolutely perfect watch in every respect. So guys, that's it for today's video. I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts off the cuff. Uh, comparing the sub and the Rolex GMT, I think that the GMT gets the edge as the perfect one and done because of that date complication, the GMT hand, but most importantly because of this Jubilee bracelet, guys. I really do feel the Rolex Jubilee bracelet is the best 
buy on the market today. So guys, those are just my thoughts off the cuff. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Make sure to like the video to subscribe for more videos in the future. As you know, my name is Marco. I'm your watch cardinal and I'll see you guys in the next one.